Good evening, Lake Orion. Happy holidays. God bless. Good to see you. My name is Ian Witherspoon. I'm your host, and I am right next to Sammy. Hi, Ian. Hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the program this evening, ladies and gentlemen. So nice of you to join us. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What's going on? Oh, oh God. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, oh, no. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Catman. How you doing? How's life going? This is your director today. Oh, yeah. This is me. Andy. How did this happen? How did this happen? All right, you two have fun while let's hear you. Let's hear you ramble, ramble, bit. How did this happen? Does he control the buttons? I don't know. <laughs> Dang right I do. Now let's go. Dang right. Let's just let's start. I'll show a great example. I'm a little frightened. I know. Hold me. I'm not Hold holding me. you. Hold me. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Did you know that was happening? No, I did not. Sam. Ian. <laughs> Sam, where was he hiding? Know. I don't know where he's hiding. I don't know. Okay. Well, we might as well talk about All it. All right, we got an echo going. Yes, we do. Oh, 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 oh don't oh, tell me don't we got to see him again. again. No. Oh, no. Get out of here. Start your conversation, gentlemen. What? Start it. We're trying. Uh, we're trying. Typical. What do you want to talk about? Jeez, I, I don't know. Bo Pelina got fired. I'm stunned. Yeah, no, Bo Pelina got what fired. What are we going to do? NFL first or yeah, NFL first? NFL first. Okay. Let's do NFL. Okay. Um, well, another interesting week in the NFL. Yes. Mm, I'm surprised the Oakland Raiders lost again. Do you see yeah. that score? No, you know, I'm surprised that Jacksonville won. <laughs> Jacksonville won. Giants really are not that good. No. Giants stink. Yes, they do. <sighs> but to kick off the festivities of this NFL week, we had the Lions taking on the Bears at home. Yes. And that game did not disappoint. No, it did not. Would you say Matt Stafford had his best game as a pro in the NFL? You know what? I'm going to say no. No? Because there's games I think he can, get, he can play better on. You know what I mean? But thus far, thus far. I think it was his best game of the season, but. Not as a pro? Not as a pro, but it's just I feel like he's he's got a huge upside. I think he does. You think so? Yes. Even being a six-year veteran now, he's still got some upside. I still think he does. You know what I mean? He's got that gunslinging arm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are combining with Jay Cutler. I mean, like, you and Jay Cutler, you know what I mean? Like, he's like mm -hmm. a gunslinger, you know what I mean? But Jay Cutler's not very, very good this year. But um, you got – I think the emergence of Golden Tate's really helped him. Mm -hmm. I also think, you know, a healthy Megatron helps, but Golden Tate's the key. Yep. Yep, and uh, as we can see through the highlights, we have highlights today, Sam. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, this game didn't start off all that well for the Bears. No, it did not. You look Stupid at Jared, Jared Allen. You look at Jared Allen, of course, covering a fumble from Stafford. Man, I can't And then, of guy. course, it led to Ashan Jeffrey, of course, scoring yep. two touchdowns. Jeffrey, of course, on my fantasy team. Mm, good for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. On a 10 and 2, on 11 and 2 team. Jeez, oh, Pete. Uh -huh. 11 and 2, eh? Yep. Wow. Well, I mean, after the first quarter, uh, Lions really knuckled hey, down. Hey, hey. What? Gentlemen, what? Gentlemen, what? Gentlemen, what? You're talking about the Lions and the Bears. Bottom line is Lions are the better team than the Bears. Enough said, gentlemen. The Lions are just a flat out better team. But the question is, can they contain the Green Bay Packers? The Packers are hot right now, gentlemen. So let's get your viewpoints on that. I wonder if he wants to know my viewpoint on why are we, why is he doing the show from just beyond that wall? I have no idea. Why isn't he sitting here? I have no idea. I'm confused. Because well, I rock. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. Well, you got Green Bay. Speaking of Green Bay. You know. Green Bay and the Patriots played a great game. It was a good game. Um, it was a good game. It scares me a little bit because the Packers won. Well, they still got to play Atlanta. They got to play um, Buffalo. Buffalo. I it, think the game of Buffalo is at Buffalo. It is. Okay. It scares me, though, because the Packers defense stopped Tom Brady. Right. 
Right. Can the Packers defense, if they could stop Tom Brady, they could stop Matt Stafford. That yeah, scares but me. Remember, in ever, their barn. Ever since they put Clay Matthews in at li- inside linebacker, they managed to stop the run a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I look at the game, it's at Lambeau. Mm-hmm. It's a problem right there. I think when you look at it here, I think that the um, the Lions blew their chance at the division when they lost to um, when they lost Arizona. I think Arizona's in deep trouble. They are a little bit. And is there a better quarterback in football than Aaron Rodgers? Is there a better quarterback? Besides Peyton Manning, you know what I mean? I think Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the league right now. I think he's bar none the best quarterback in the league. But the Lions only held shoved down seven points. That's true. They had a, a bad game plan, though. Mm-hmm. They didn't pass the ball a lot, and they no. didn't have the ball a lot. No. The thing the Lions did really well in that game is they held on to the they football. They kept Aaron Rodgers off the field. Exactly. And that's the key if you want to beat Green Bay. Right. You gotta be, if you want to beat Green Bay in the winter, in December, you gotta you got to make sure he doesn't step on the field. Make sure he doesn't come out. Come out. Uh, make sure he mm-hmm. doesn't come onto the field. You know, because if he comes on the field, look out. It's basically it's all Green Bay. Now, are we getting ahead of ourselves here a little bit? Yeah. Talking about a game that's four games away. Yeah, pretty we much. We still got Tampa this weekend. Yes, Tampa's this weekend. If you recall, last year Tampa was bad. Yeah, they beat the they, they uh, beat the Lions they beat at the home. Lions at home. I think the Lions win this week. They better. They better. They better put a hurting on them. Yeah. They need to get their offense in a groove. They need to right. pick up where they left off right. against the Bears, right. who stink. Yeah. Well, they play them in three weeks in Chicago. All right. They need to take care of business against Tampa. Mm-hmm. They need to take care of business against Minnesota. They need to take care of business against Chicago. If they win their division games during the playoffs, there's no doubt. Well, hey, this is the Lions we're talking about. I know. Okay. I know. They've done some strange things I know. over the years. I know. I think we're counting our chickens here before they hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you and you count your chickens. Give me a break. Why? It's simple. Look, bottom line is the Lions have a great chance to win their next three games. Ian, just get over it. Are you nervous? Come on, man. Who is this guy? I don't know. What is he doing? I think the Lions win this week. You think the Lions win this week? Yes. I pray the Lions win this week. Let's pray the Lord. Okay. Okay, let's do, let's go up. Let's go up the mighty Lord. Uh, let's up to the mighty oh, Lord. Oh, mighty Lord. Please, the Lord, the Lions win this week. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that was a good prayer. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah, the Lions are going to definitely win this week. Big time over the, over the Buccaneers. You know it. Sammy, come on, man. You are doing a great job. Fantastic job. I am proud of you. Let's give, let's give you a round of applause. Ian, 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 you could do a lot better. Let's just boo the crowd out of you. All right. All right, we're going to head on to the next one here on Between Terraminas here on ONTV. The Orion Lighted Parade is a tradition that ushers in the holiday season here in the Orion area. Families line the streets in the village to enjoy this festive event. But it wouldn't be possible without the Holly Jolly Folly. This year's fundraiser is scheduled to take place on Friday, December 5th at Golling Buick GMC, located at 1491 South Lapeer Road. Enjoy live entertainment, a silent auction, a cash bar, and a 50-50 raffle. Food will be provided by Italia Garden. Tickets are $35 per person and are available at Gowling Buick GMC. For more information, call the Orion Area Parade Group at 248-802-5521 or visit orionlightedparade.org. Welcome back to Between Terramina's here on ONTV with your one truly director, the great Anthony Terramina. Yes. Oh, yes. Now let's just head it to Ian and Sammy. We had Daniel Bryan, yes, Chance. Good oh, God. Boy. Oh, boy. I want to know where he was hiding. I don't know where. And well, where were you hiding? Well, we got college football. Well, what, what do you want to talk about? We got hockey. We got college football. <sighs> Pissing I, suck. Well, okay. Remember when I bet you they'd make the playoffs? Yeah. Oh, God. They're looking really good right now. 3-14. and 14. <laughs> Yeah, they're worse than 76ers. I know. And, could you name two 76ers players? Yeah. Toilet. Flush them. Uh, let's see. Could you name two 76ers? Go. 
Lois Noel. Okay. And Michael Gilchrist Williams. Michael Carter Williams. Uh, Carter Williams. All right. Yeah, that's okay. It. Two of the last rookies okay. drafted. All right. Fine. Fair enough. Um, let's let's get into the college game because a lot of interesting things happened. Yep. With the playoff bracket and here mm -hmm. in the Big Ten. Yep. Um, let's start with this. JT Barrett broke his leg. Out for the year. Gone. God. In your opinion, does this, should that be held against him for the playoff, for their playoff chances? Yes. Let's say they go out and beat Wisconsin in the Big Ten championship mm -hmm. game, beat him by 10 points or more. Right. Does, does this still affect them negatively? Uh, yes, it does. Because does, it keep him, does it keep him out of the playoffs? It keeps him out because what JT Barrett did – in the Big Ten season. No, 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 a... no, 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 Sam. Ohio State should not be penalized for losing GT, JT Barrett. Why? It's simple. Look, Ohio State's body of work, the quality of work that they've done, they've beaten Michigan State at Michigan State. That's a very impressive feat. Yes, they've lost early in the season, but they've gotten better. Just because one player is gone for the season, it does not make, it does not define the body of work that the complete team has made. Ohio State should not be penalized. I think this is going to hurt Ohio State because you look at, but the problem is you have, you have the other two lost teams. The UCLA is a two lost team. They're done. Then you got Arizona. What if Arizona beats Oregon? You know what I mean? You think about it. Could do that again. They could do it again. They got a good chance of doing it again. Florida State, I think right now is the only two locked team in the playoffs. There's another interesting thing mm -hmm. with Florida State. Um, Jameis Winston has some legal trouble to get through. Yes, he does. November the 1st. December. December. Today, actually. He had some legal trouble. I thought it was the 6th. Oh, yeah, you're right. Is it? I think so. Maybe. Um, it's a Saturday. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Either way, he's got some pending legal action, and it comes after the, the ACC game, championship yeah. game, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's say they win. You know what? Hey, we're talking here! <laughs> Mutant and Mike. We're talking here! Mutant and Mike. Sammy, how's life treating you? It's going all right. Don't answer this, bum. It's all right. Sammy, uh, you are doing a fantastic job. Keep up the great work and keep doing what you're doing. I am so proud of you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Thank Very you. well. Very well. Then. Well, you look at um, Ian, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, yeah, yeah. With um, JT Bear, I mean, with Florida State. Um, the, um, Let's say they beat Georgia Tech. Jameis Winston goes to jail. Yep. What happens there? Florida State screwed. Are, they still they, have a good defense. Should they be in the playoff? No, they shouldn't be in the playoffs. But I think they're going to get rolled by Alabama. You can only hope so. They keep I think winning they get rolled games. by Alabama. Yeah. You got. I think TCU. They're out. Huh? Yeah. They're out. Didn't they lose? Oh, TCU. No, they won. They won Texas. They lost are to they Baylor, one, yeah. They are one They're one-loss team. They're one-loss team, yeah. I thought they had two. No, they okay, my, yeah. my apologies. I mean, when you look at um, TCU, I think that um, it would be interesting. I think TCU matches well with Florida State. Oregon and Alabama, that ought to be a fun game. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, offense versus defense. Offense versus defense, but it depends on Arizona. I think Arizona's got a shot knocking off Oregon. I think Georgia well, Tech here. beats Florida Can State. I speak, please, Sammy. Thank you. Oh, dear uh, God. Well, look. Anyway. When does it end? It, flip it in, or I'll meet you again. All right, Alabama and Oregon. That has the sounds of a national championship game, gentlemen. Do you agree with me on that? I just yeah. think right now Alabama. Alabama played a very well, very well organized game against their rival Auburn. Oregon was very impressive against a mediocre Oregon State team. Oregon State sucks. Well, I know, but still. <laughs> and then you got to look at Ohio State's body of work as well. I would say Ohio State does go into the the top four. Even over well. TCU? No. Yeah. I mean. Be careful, Sammy. I can mute you, though. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm be, can, I, can I explain my point yeah, here? Explain. Because right. here's why. Oregon did beat Michigan State earlier in the year. Minnesota mm -hmm. lost to TCU. Okay, TCU deserves to go over Ohio State. Ohio State lost to Virginia Tech of all teams. And look at where Virginia Tech's at. They're not very good. 
That's the thing that's going to keep Ohio State out. It's not JT Parrott's injury. It's that loss to Virginia Tech that's going to keep Ohio State out. Mm. Somebody agrees. Mm -hmm. Now, did you hear, uh, I can't remember whose prediction it was, that the Peach Bowl down mm -hmm. in Georgia would be yep. TCU versus Michigan State? Ooh, rematch from the um, Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. Did you hear that? Poss yeah, I heard about it. You know, it's a shame. You know, it's not a shame, but this playoff, Mm -hmm. They need to, they need to have more teams. Yeah, because I a matchup eight, between eight State be, and TCU is a good matchup. Eight would be. Eight, I think eight would make more sense. To be honest, give me sixteen, baby. Sixteen would be good. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I don't think that will happen. No, I think the cap it out of date. So okay, getting to Michigan State. You know, Michigan. They're not. They're done. Yeah, them. Brady Hoke's gonna be fired. Shout out to Bo Pelini getting fired. That was awful. You don't think he should have got fired? He should not have got fired. You love Bo Pelini. I love Bo Pelini. Why? Because he's a good coach, good man. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's like a rat. He's a good man. He man. has a cat. He has a cat? Yes. So that's why you like him? Thank you. Bo Pelini? Oh, Bo Pelini's going to be the next coach at Michigan. What? He will be the next coach at Michigan. What? He will be the next coach at Michigan. I'm sorry, Ian, but that booing was for you. That was not for Sammy. Bo Pelini should not have gotten fired. I hey. think Bo Pelini is a good enough coach for Nebraska, and he should have stayed at Nebraska. Michigan State would be a very good interest. Michigan State would be, um, speaking of your point on Michigan State, Ian, Yes. They did what they had to do, you know what I mean? I still think that the Peach Bowl Bo makes Pelini a lot of sense. Bo Pelini will not go to Michigan State. Will he go to Michigan? No. I don't think he's going to go to a school in conference, Sam. You know that. Never say never. Uh, but, um. But I'm back on Michigan State. I'm saying, yeah. Ian, is that um, Michigan State's a very unique My team. Um, when you look at the Spartans' body of work, their two losses were to two legit teams, Oregon and Ohio State. Yes. Um, I still think they deserve to go to a high-end bowl. You know what I mean? A really high-end bowl. I still think they're going to be – I would have them six or seven in the um, standings. I think they're seventh right now. In the rankings, but the college football playoff tomorrow night. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It's a shame. It's a shame Michigan State would lose. I know. Especially at home. I know. To Ohio State. What a bummer. Bummer. And they lost to Oregon. Yeah. Their those plain white jerseys look awful, though. I wish they went back to the Green Shoulder Oaks. What? I wish they went back to the Green Shoulder Oaks. What? You remember the year? I like the white. You know what? I don't like the plain whites. I think the Shoulder Oaks make a lot of sense. Ant, what well, does Ant think? Here's Ant with his opinion. That, that concludes this segment here on Between what? Sam and Ant here on No One TV. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Lake Orion. It's Anthony Taramina, co-host of Between Taraminas. I want to let you know of a new show called History Now. In it, we're going to talk about global, national, and political events that occur in our lifetime. We're going to also have guests and also have co-hosts as well and also plenty of surprises catch us on history now here on on tv hello lake orion and oakland county this is sammy termina here talking a new show here called oa now we're going to talk about sports from football to basketball to volleyball to track and field to soccer Cross country, etc. Here on OA now on ON TV. Welcome back to Between Terminas here on ON TV. You look at those commercials, man. That History Now show that is awesome. I definitely encourage you to go watch History Now. Also, OA now is pretty good too. I encourage you, watch both those shows here on Orient Neighborhood Television, ONTV. Now let's get back to a genius named Sammy and Owen Ian. Gee, I'm calling genius here. He is just poking and prodding today. I don't know why. Poking and prodding. I don't know why. We got hockey to talk about today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where should we start? We got, we got a showdown this week. Do you want to recap every one of the Wings wins? This week? They will not win Thursday night. Why? Because the Stars have talent. They're going to beat Detroit pretty handily. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. You look at what the Stars have done the last few years. Look at what the Wings have done the last two games. 
Why in the blue blazer? Look at this. Ian, stop arguing. Passing the puck around, banging it off the wall. They're playing a bunch of weak teams. Put it between Ron Hextall's yeah. pads. <laughs> it's not Ron Hextall. You're playing a bunch of weak teams. Are you calling the Flyers weak? Yeah, they are. Are you calling the Senators weak? Ian, stop Senators arguing. Suck. Are you calling the Canucks weak? Ian. No. Well, the Canucks, of course, they had a former Texas star coach in Willie oh, Days RJ. Of course, but they will not beat the Stars Thursday night. Yes, they will. They will not. Ian, okay, stop man. arguing, man. It's just a helpless cause that you're arguing. Sammy's got a good reason to, to, to hey, argue. Hey, you better shut up, especially when I have hey, my stars. Hey, you're just bitter because the You better shut up when I have my stars again. Mute them. Mute them. Mute them. Hey, hey, Gigglypuff, how about if... Um... Mute him, too. No. And so to me. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you get when you have two people that just don't listen to reason. Be realistic. Be common, Brent. Okay, let's unmute them. You All right, poof. let's say the Wings win on Thursday. They will not win Thursday. Let's say they win. No. Anthony is barred from the show for one year. No. How about that one? How about I'm... one week? <laughs> that would be How about he has to sit here, but he's muted for a whole week? Eh? Uh, I like that bet. I'm not going to take it, but you got to talk to him about that. It's not mm. me. Come on, Sam. Nope. The crowd wants it. Nope. Hey, I remember oh, last boy. remember what? last year's game, of course, with what Jamie Benn did against Detroit last year. No. It was a be he had nope. a beautiful goal against them. Don't you remember. know what I mean? It was perfect. It was a perfect goal last year where he just made Nick Cronwell look sorry. That's the only goal you got against the Wings all year? No, the Stars won 4-3 in that game. Oh, you know here what I mean? Look here's at this footage. Here. You see this here? Look oh, at this. Brother. Look, at, look at this here. Yeah, look watch at, this. Look at Darren Helm giving the puck away. Oh, of course, man. there's Jamie, of course. Jamie's going to go. Look at him. He just ditches people. And look what he does to Cronwell. Look at this. Beautiful. And then what a goal. What a goal. He beat that He beat that no good, that weakling Jimmy Howard like a bunch of like a bunch of sack potatoes. You know what I mean? That was a perfect goal. Can I That's what the kind of view is happening with Detroit on Thursday night when Tyler Sagan scores again and Jason Spess is going to score. I mean, like, I see Tyler Sagan scoring two goals against Detroit, Jamie Benn getting one, and Jason Spezza getting one. I can see that happening, and I see Dallas winning over Detroit 4-1. Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. Yep. Yep. You'll get a goal. We'll get, oh, thanks. You'll get one goal. Oh, okay. I, I see it a bit differently myself. Why? Why? Well, um, Jimmy Howard is a little different. He sucks. Wings win. Stars win. Yeah, Jimmy Howard's a little different. The, the Wings are not getting up, giving up a lot of shots on goal this year. Hey, will you shut your mouth? <laughs> All right, here's the drum roll. Here's the projection's going to be between the Stars and the Wings. Run, two, three. The Stars are going to beat the Wings on Yay! bet on this somehow man we can't not go out, out of this one where's my game. pop you owe me for i owe you some pop you owe me some pop you owe me some pop all right all right i owe you pop yeah what else can you throw in this field <laughs> why do we got here ebony cock <laughs> oh that's too bad ian hey ian one thing about it is you cannot, uh, if you choose to threaten me, it's going, it's going to bite you, you know? Bottom line is, don't threaten the master of the mind game. I'm going to get you. Don't worry. Hey, you better zip it over the ass band for what you did my stars. What about McDonald's? A McDonald's shake. Ooh. A McDonald's shake. I'll even drive. Even if I win, I'll drive. Hey, if the stars win, it's got to be a Dairy Queen shake. If the stars win, it's a Dairy Queen shake. Yep, extra lunch. Come on. That don't really spit on it. Give me your hand. Give it. All right, fine. Got a deal. All right, you got a deal. Yeah. Wings win. Stars win. 5-2. Stars win. 4-1. 5-2. 4-1. Wings. Stars. Wings. Stars. 5-2 wings. Stars. Thanks a lot. 4-1. News 5-2 wings. 4-1 stars. Hey, hey, hockey town. Hail to the big D. Hey.
Pantera is a lot better than that hockey team. How many league. Stanley Cups do we have? First shot up. Is it 11 or 12? I can't remember. First shot up. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh. Medic. Good, oh. good, good. Look at that violence that tends to take place between Sammy and. Oh, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, it's nice to get a nice little break from Sammy, and especially Ian. Oh my goodness gracious, how? How is it possible, man? I mean, I, I, I mean, I just, I just don't get it. I just don't understand it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Goodness gracious. You got anything else you want to talk about with hockey? Well, of course, we all know. Of course, the Stars will be Toronto. And then, of course, they're going to beat Detroit. Yeah, they will. When do they play Toronto? Tomorrow? Tomorrow night. They in Toronto? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. What about you? Play the um, Florida Panthers at home tomorrow. That should be interesting, boys. Interesting? Yeah. You'll kill them. Yeah, should. But then again, if you find a way to lose, what else? Oh, boy. Here's oh, Nancy. Boy. Here's Are we getting the call-outs yet, gentlemen? Jeez, call Louise. Call you got any? There's no call-outs? All right, here's my call-out for this week. Oh, my call-out is Mr. Sir, a certain Mr. Ian Weatherspoon. What Why? Simple. Look, Ian, last week you ended up not you ended up not even texting me, not even telling me you were going to miss the show last week. You know what you do? You said you go to a Wings game. You decide to go to a Wings game and ditch between terminus. This is not the first time you have ditched our show. Whoa. You have ditched our show multiple times. And why? For your own personal gain. Ian Weatherspoon, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know if it was punishment for you. I don't know if you deserve it. I don't know. I text Anthony. I texted Anthony. It didn't go through. Turn your phone on! That's it. You could have just said my line like this. Who are you? I'd like to say that one. Don't yeah. you have that one trademarked? Yeah. Yeah, so I can't use it. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Yes, Sammy, that is trademarked by you. Ian, you know, it's just a bit of poetic justice, my friend. Bottom line is, is that, look, you needed to have, you needed to be learned and you need to be taught what it's like to be a director. And to me, it's a great experience. It's a fantastic experience. So before we conclude between Terramina's, you have any questions, Mr. Weatherspoon and Mr. Terramina? Yeah, how fast can you run? <laughs> you ain't chasing anybody. All right. So before we head on out, I'd like to say good night, Lake Orion. Thank you very, very much. And it was fun directing Between Terminus on ONTV.